heads up, we'll know exactly where they go. You know, back when the cartels ran their drugs through Miami, these swamps were filled with smugglers. Maybe history's repeating itself. <laughs> Let's hope not. Back then, cartel guys were gunning each other down at their kids' birthday parties. Yeah, I remember. I was just a kid back then, but I saw some crazy shit. Blood on the sidewalk, pit bulls with your throat slashed. How the hell did your mom keep you out of all that shit? Well, it's gonna sound a little corny, but she worked hard, and she loved me. Yeah, that sounds pretty goddamn corny. <laughs> Mama's boy. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Lead on, partner. There's at least 10 kilos in that bale. Americans love their drugs. My point is, this is not a small operation. Dawes wouldn't have us out here if it was. You say the cartels are using Miami to move product again. Why would they do that? My best guess? Mexico's gotten way too scary. The average smuggler will risk prison but not having his head chopped off by some Zeta. <laughs> Americans do love their drugs. Hey, it's a big deal that Dawes put us on this. You know that, right? Oh, I know. The problem is, the stuff we're doing, we can't exactly bring to a DA. Who gives a shit? This is way more fun. By the way, Captain Dawes, that guy was reckless as hell when he was young. Yeah, I heard that about him. It's just a risky way to work, that's all. Word of advice. You want to get on the Captain's good side? Take the gloves off. Oh, is that what this is? Bare knuckle police work? Now you're catching on. Yeah, pull up to the dock. A lot of gators out here. Yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. 